Proverbs chapter 30. The words of Aga, the son of Jacob, even his prophecy. This man spoke to Ithiel, even to Ithiel and Yukal. Surely, I am more foolish than any person and lack the understanding of a man. I have not acquired wisdom, nor have I obtained the knowledge of the holy. Who has ascended into heaven and descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has wrapped the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if you know? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who place their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you, and you be found a liar. Two things I have asked of you. Do not deny them to me before I die. Remove vanity and lies far from me. Do not give me poverty or riches. Feed me with the food that is needful for me. Lest I be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. Do not accuse a servant to his master, lest he curse you, and you be found guilty. There is a generation that curses their father and does not bless their mother. There is a generation that is pure in their own eyes, yet they are not cleansed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are like swords, and their jaw teeth like knives, to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among men. The leech has two daughters, give and give. There are three things that are never satisfied, for that never say enough the grave, the barren womb, the earth that is not satisfied with water, and the fire that says, It is enough. The eye that mocks at his father and scorns to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley will pick it out, and the young eagles will eat it. There are three things which are too wonderful for me, for which I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maiden. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wickedness. For three things the earth trembles, for four it cannot bear up. For a servant when he reigns, for a fool when he is filled with food. For an odious woman when she is married, and for a maid servant who succeeds her mistress. There are four small things on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are a people not strong yet they prepare their food in the summer. The conies are a feeble folk, yet they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet they all go forth in ranks. The spider skillfully grasps with its hands and is found in king's palaces. There are three things that are stately in their stride, for that are stately when they walk. A lion, which is mightiest among beasts and does not turn away for any. A greyhound, a male goat also, and a king, when his army is with him. If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have devised evil, put your hand over your mouth. Surely, churning milk produces butter, and wringing the nose produces blood, so the forcing of wrath produces strife.